Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little stressed out. Avon, come on, Bubba's. Good morning, you guys. It is literally such a gloomy, rainy day. The last thing I wanna do is get out of bed right now. I literally just wanna stay here in my warm, fluffy bed forever and ever. I need to get up, start my day, get out of my cozy bed, but I don't want to. I wanna stay in here forever. Thank you. Are you eating mommy's shoes? No, Kayvon, that's dirty, Bubba. That's dirty. Thank you. Let me see these toes. Hello. I love you. Good morning, guys. I'm currently in Kayvon's room with him playing. Look at how cute this puzzle is that his grandma got him for his birthday, his G-ma. So, guys, whenever I say, like, G-ma and G-pop, that's Mel's parents. And then if I say Mama and Baba, that's my parents. But this is one of the gifts that they got him. A little custom puzzle. And then Kayvon's auntie got him this ball pit, too. They did such a good job of keeping the... The room theme. Follow my cupcake. Hey, Vaughn. Uh, oh, okay, Bonnie. Can we not grab the camera? Oh. Bunny. Good job. Who are you texting, Bunny? You guys, it is only 1.30. Kayvon went down at 12 and he is up already. That's only like an hour and a half, guys. He usually sleeps for three hours. That's very normal for him to sleep at least like two and a half, three hours. Honestly, when he only sleeps like two hours, we're like, oh, he didn't sleep enough. But he literally only slept for like an hour and 15 minutes just now. I was getting some work done on my computer and I started hearing him cry. And I was so confused, so that's why I was like, okay, I'm just gonna let him cry for a second, he'll probably go back to sleep. But no, he was like screaming. So I was like, okay, let me go in there, let me rock him a little bit. Guys, I have not had to rock him to sleep since he was like four or five months old. I rocked him a little bit, and I put him back in his crib, and he, are you laughing at me? He has a lap, oh my, here, look, look, look at this. Hey, Vaughn, come on, Bubba's. He's not even that attached to his pacifier either. Okay, Vani. What's wrong, Bubba? Bubba! What's wrong? Are you just having a bad day? Ah! Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little stressed out because Kayvon's nap is what Mel and I honestly rely on to get stuff done in the house. So, I mean, my mom isn't here today, but you guys know usually um, when Mel and I are alone, like usually it's just Mel and I and my mom isn't here and people always ask us like, how do you guys handle it? How do you guys do everything while having a baby? And honestly, the truth is we rely on that three hour nap. And right now Mel is downstairs editing a video. I'm sure you guys can see it in my face. I am actually exhausted. Like I'm so, so tired. And I was honestly just going to like spend the last hour of his nap sleeping myself. Like at least just laying in bed and resting a little bit. But then Kayvon woke up. See, there is certain things that I can do with Kayvon awake, like cleaning and stuff like that, organizing. I can do that with Kayvon awake. I feel like I can just put him in his playpen and he'll play while I do that. But things that require me to like film, things that require, you know, audio, I kind of need him asleep. Oh, these cheeks are so kissable.
Hey guys, as you just saw, I just did a quick five minute makeup since I'm up I'm like I just need to wake myself up a little bit because you guys saw I was still wearing my pajamas and it was one in the afternoon so I'm like you know what I need to change my clothes even though it's just into some lounge where I need to change my clothes put on some makeup and wake myself up a little bit and I definitely did I already feel like a little bit more alive and I'm just gonna apply my fragrance for the day and I'm using Confessions of a Rebel Love High this smells so good you guys I'm just gonna put some on I'm really in the process of trying to find my signature scent. I feel like every woman, I'm at that point in my life where I need that scent, where I want people when they smell it, they're like, ooh, that smells like Nas, you know what I mean? And it didn't really hit me until Sylvia was doing my hair a few weeks ago. And she goes, do you wear perfume? And I'm like, I mean, not really, especially because she comes over when I'm like, you know, fresh out the shower or I'm like, you know, about to get my hair done. So she came over and she's like, you never really have like a scent. Like, I feel like you never have like a perfume on. And I'm like, you know what? I don't. I don't really wear perfume that often and I really want to start getting into it. So when Scentbird reached out to work with me, I'm like, what a coincidence, what a better time to partner up with them. So thank you so much to Semper for sponsoring today's video and also helping me find my signature scent. I've just been thinking about what perfume I should buy to be my new signature scent. And this is honestly the best solution for me. So if you guys aren't familiar with Semper, it is a fragrance subscription service that allows you to try a new scent every single month for only $16. And you get a 30 day vial like this that has a twist top. The packaging is so nice for only $16 a month. So you guys get to basically test drive all these perfumes every single month and you don't have to commit to a full bottle until you actually like that perfume so that's exactly what I needed guys I already have a few perfumes in my collection that I never wear and that is why I love Sunbird it already has me trying all these different perfumes that I would have never tried on my own like Confessions of a Rebel I've never even heard of that brand and this has been my go-to scent all month so Sunbird literally has such a huge selection of fragrances they actually carry over 600 brands including authentic designer fragrances and they also have scents for men as well I did pick one up for Mel. You're able to pick the scent every month, so there's no surprises. And they also have quizzes on there to help you find scents if you're like me and you're totally clueless about perfume. I really like fruity scents. Again, I did not know I love fruity scents until I tried this out. And when I looked at the hints of this perfume, it said like apple and peach and sandalwood and all these fragrances that I did not know I was a fan of. So I really think I love apples. I think apples are my new thing because even my deodorant is apple scented and I really love that too. So this has been my go-to and as you guys can see, the bottle that it comes in is super duper nice. It just twists up like so. I did also get this other fragrance as well. This one is by Burberry. This is the Burberry Brit. And I found that I liked this one at first, but then throughout the day, I wasn't really loving it like I do this one. So imagine if I would have smelled this at the store and I purchased the big bottle. Again, this is Burberry, so that would probably have costed me like $100, $200. Imagine I purchased that full-size bottle. I took it home, wore it for a few days, and... I found that I didn't even like that scent. So that's the great thing about Semper is you're able to take a test drive with all of your scents. You don't have to commit to a big bottle which can cost you anywhere from $100 all the way to $500 with these high-end brands. Or you guys can easily pick from their scents of the month. I'll put their scents of the month on the screen right here for you guys to check it out. So with the membership, you get one fragrance a month, but you can easily upgrade your membership to get two to three fragrances a month. So I also have this one right here that I picked up from Mel. So again, they do have men's cologne and men's fragrances and also unisex options as well and you guys already know I gotta hook you up with a code so you guys can use my code Nazmin30 to get 30% off your first month so that makes your first fragrance only $11 so you guys can use my code which I'll put on the screen and also in the description box down below for you guys including the link to get your 30% off so without further ado let's get into the rest of this vlog so I showed this over on my Instagram and not on YouTube yet we got these beautiful pictures hung up at the top of the staircase. I'm so excited, it was so, so plain up here, you guys. We got these gorgeous prints that we got done, like Kayvon was, I think, seven months in these pictures. But yeah, we got them done with Patty. She does all of Kayvon's pictures. I'm so obsessed with these pictures. I'm trying to get more pictures printed out in the house that are like, you know, us, not really just abstract art, because I feel like I have that a lot in the house, like down there and over there. What'd you say? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Kayvon! Kayvon! Come here! Come here! Hey 
Hey guys, so change of plans. So Mel just decided to wake up early tomorrow and edit because but, Kayvon's um, nap was cut short. So we wanted to get hibachi, but last time we came to get hibachi, we had to sit outside. And today is the first day they're allowing indoor seating, which is so nice because it's kind of cold outside today. So we had Kayvon in this like big puffy coat, but luckily we're sitting inside. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, we're so eager grabbing yeah. it. <laughs> Thank you. Low sodium. So we have Kayvon. He's about to have his first ever hibachi experience. Right, Kayvon? Right, baby? Thank you. Thank you. It's ginger sauce. Thank you. See, so guys, look. Way to leave me out, you guys. I'm feeling left out. If he had the same shoes, why wouldn't you buy me those shoes too? These are not cheap. Oh my god, the sun's coming in so hard. These are these are not cheap or easy to get. I just got lucky. One of my friends, one of my friends from back home, was trying to get rid of his shoes, so he gave me like. Oh, that's when you bought those. Yeah, he gave me like a ridiculous deal. So I didn't even have these until like two weeks ago. Wow. So that's the only but reason I got But these have been out this. for a minute. Because I remember, so the brand that sent us Kayvon's, um, the hype demand, they sent me shoes when he was when I was like five months pregnant. Yeah, they've they been out me. for a minute, but they're like $700 on stock X. Oh. But I got them for like under 200 like almost $200. So. <laughs> the crunch. <laughs> the crunch. Sound like a sound effect. Thank you. You help? <laughs> oh no! Uh oh. Cover his ears, babe. You're too tall for this slide. You're gonna be all the way down by the time you start. <laughs> yeah. Why are you touching it? I don't want Vaughn to touch it. Come on. Uh oh. Hey, 
Come on, come on. Give up. Come on. Come on. Go get daddy. Go get daddy. Come on. Save him. Come on. Go get daddy. It's currently 1.16 a.m. 1.17 actually now. And I woke up from a nap about an hour ago. I swear Kayvon and I passed out after the park. We were both exhausted. Larry Kayvon and I both slept for a good hour. Obviously, we moved Kayvon into his bed. And I kept sleeping until midnight. So now my sleep schedule is completely wrecked. I literally slept from 7 p.m. to midnight. So that was five hours I just slept. So I'm probably not going to be tired or go back to sleep until like 5, 6 a.m. But since I did take a nap, I do have some work I needed to get done that I was planning on getting done earlier. So I'm just about to work on that now. You guys know me. I'm nocturnal. Like I could literally do this every day. I could sleep all day and then work all night if I needed to. And I think I'm going to also do my workout as well once I finish up on my computer. Because I did snack. Like after I woke up, I did snack a lot and I'm like... Dang, like I'm trying to lose weight over here and I'm over here, I ate my leftover fried rice from hibachi. I ate some crackers, I ate some tuna. What else did I eat? I had like a little mini Twix bar, like I ate a lot. But anyways guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe down below for more videos. Also make sure you guys have your post notifications on. I know a lot of you guys do have your post notifications on but I always get messages like Nas, I have your post notifications on but for some reason, I don't get your, you know, I don't get your notifications. So I think YouTube kind of goes through like purges. Like I feel like you kind of need to re-update. You need to turn on your post notifications again for YouTube to get the hint that you actually want to see their stuff. Because even my mom, my mom has my post notifications on and she used to get them and now she doesn't get them. So I would just redo it if you guys haven't been getting the notifications. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again for our next video. Bye y'all.